a very good morning to one and all i welcome all of you in today's lecture in the previous lecture we was seen that the most economical rectangular channel section okay so what is most economical rectangular channel section or what do you mean by the most economical channel section the most economical channel section means uh, the total cost of the construction for a given length of the channel is minimum and the weighted perimeter should be minimum then we called it as a most economical rectangular channel section and also uh, we have seen that uh, one of the important derivations with respect to the most economical rectangular channel sections and uh, in which uh, we have uh, the formula which is used as a chages formula so chages formula for the velocity v is equal to c under root ri or c under root mi okay and uh, the discharge by the chages formula q is equal to ac under root mi where a is the area of the rectangular channel sections and also uh, we was solve one of the important problem with respect to the rectangular channel and i was given uh, uh, two to uh, two problems uh, for your homework okay so uh, i am going to share uh, with all of you the today's presentation hello my slide is visible yes sir okay so uh, now uh, we are here in the previous lecture most economical channel sections okay so for the most economical channel section uh, we have the two conditions okay the total cost of the construction should be minimi minimum okay and uh, the discharge should be maximum yeah. and uh, the weighted perimeter should be minimum that is the three condition in case of the most economical channel sections so we have different types of the channel section based upon their shape we have the rectangular channel section then we have the trapezoidal then triangular channel section circular channel section these are the four types of the uh, most economical rectangular channel sections and also we have derived one of the important uh, derivations with respect to the most economical uh, rectangular channel section so q is equal to av so what is this q this is the discharge or the rate of flow that is the area into velocity and we can calculate the velocity with the help of chages formula so see here we have the uh, velocity by chages formula c under root mi where c is the chages constant and uh, the value of chages constant is nearly equal to 50 55 or 60 it is given itself in the problem m is the hydraulic mean depth so what is hydraulic mean depth it is the uh, ratio of area to the weighted perimeter then we called it as a hydraulic mean depth and this i uh, this is the bed slope of the channel so the bed slope of the channel is given itself in the problem okay Uh, then uh, in the in this particular uh, uh, figure you can see here we have a uh, open channel okay and the shape of this particular channel is uh, rectangular okay now uh, see here uh, we have the uh, this is uh, the ground level okay then this is you can say the uh, depth of channel okay and uh, we have to keep uh, some of the free board free board means it is not under water for this particular uh, depth okay and uh, below this we have a depth of the channel okay so we have the depth of the channel and then we have a another okay uh, depth on both sides so this is the case of the rectangular channel now from this up to this section okay we have the the depth of water so this is called as the 
depth of water okay so this is d and uh, this is uh, width okay this is width of the channel this is width of the channel up to this particular point okay so uh, we have calculated the discharge this q q is the discharge okay this is discharge q q means rate of flow or discharge now we have to supply this water for the purpose of irrigation so somewhere we have the field for example we have to supply from this water to this particular field so another field is here okay so we have to supply the water so how much water uh, we have to supply that is depends upon the depth and width of the channel so this is about the rectangular channel so uh, we have seen that in the previous lecture for most economical rectangular channel p should be minimum so we have to differentiate it, it with respect to the perimeter so dp by uh, del d okay which is equal to zero so perimeter uh, differentiating with respect to the depth of flow so we will get after uh, the simplification we will get two condition that is uh, width of the rectangular channel should be equal to half of the depth of uh, uh, twice the depth of flow okay uh, 2d d is equal to 2d so here we got first condition that is uh, the width of the channel section should be equal to twice the depth of flow and another condition we got that is uh, hydraulic mean depth m or r which is equal to half of the depth of flow so these two condition we got eh? and uh, i i was given uh, this two problem so uh, what is the velocity and the flow rate anybody can tell me uh, velocity how much velocity you will be get and how much discharge, discharge you will Sir, be velocity get velocity 1.50 okay. 1.506 okay 1.50 506 uh, 1.506 meter per second and what is the discharge 27.11 27.11 one meter cube 27.11 meter cube per second meter cube. okay so uh, in in the second problem uh, have you calculated the bed slope of the channel so what is the value of i bed slope of the channel what is the bed slope of the channel for the second problem anybody 1 by 625 1 by 625 6 to 5 6 to 5 5 1 by uh, 1 is to 625 so okay so i think uh, discharge uh, 27.11 it is quite uh, more for this but but let us check okay let us check so i am going to share with all of you okay so with respect to the today's lecture uh so in the previous problem if you see here find the velocity okay find the velocity and uh, the rate of flow of water through a rectangular channel section of 6 meter wide and 3 meter deep so we have uh, write down first uh, solution okay so write down given data first write down given data whatever may be the data is given first you have to write so what is given a rectangular channel section is given first you have to write rectangular channel okay once you understood what type of the channel will be there then you can easily uh, plot the cross section then uh, the b is given okay then d is given so let us see what is the value of 
the six meter wide and three meter deep. Okay, so six meter wide and uh, three meter deep. So depth is given three meter, B is given six meter. Then when it is raining full, the channel is having bed slope one is to two thousand, change is constant fifty five. So channel slope I is given one is to two thousand. Okay. and the change is constant c is given how much 55 okay so this is the data is given now similarly we have to plot the diagram if the time is permitted so you have to plot the diagram as well so we have uh, 6 meter width okay and the depth of flow in a particular channel so this is the depth of flow how much it is this is 3 meter okay 3 meter so this is given so figure write down a rectangular channel rectangular channel okay then first uh, we have to calculate the area of the channel okay first we have to calculate area of channel area of channel that is a is equal to b into d so b is 6 meter and d is 3 meter so area area is equal to 18 meter square so area is 18 meter square now we have to calculate the perimeter as well so perimeter p okay we have to calculate we have to calculate perimeter okay perimeter p therefore p is equal to b plus 2d okay so how much is the b P six plus two into D three. So how much is the perimeter? Twelve, twelve meter. Okay. So therefore perimeter is twelve meter. Area is eighteen meter square. Then we know that we know that we know that. the changes formula for velocity okay so according to according to changes formula okay according to changes formula velocity v is equal to c under root mi okay c under root mi but we don't know the value of this m m is the hydraulic mean depth so but write down hydraulic mean depth hydraulic mean depth that is m so m is equal to uh, area to the weighted perimeter a by p it is the ratio of area to the perimeter so we have the area how much it is 18 and the perimeter is 12 So, 18 by 12. How much it is? 18 by 12. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5 meter. Okay, 1.5 meter. So, this is the a simple calculation step by step. You have to follow this procedure. Now, velocity by Chizis formula. We have the Value of C 55 under root M I. We have calculated earlier M is 1.5 into hydro uh, bed slope of the channel is 1 is to 2000. Okay. So velocity V is equal to how much it is? Velocity V is equal to 1.50. Okay. 1.50. Wait, I eh? one minute. 1.50. I am going to adjust. Uh, some feature of the is
okay so now it is 1. Point, how much 1.50 five 50 zero. Five five zero. Zero. Five meter per meter second per velocity second. okay so once we have the velocity once we have the velocity then discharge is equal to ac okay uh, area into velocity so we have the area 18 into velocity is 1.50 so discharge is equal to how much 27.11 27.11 one. okay so you have calculated 27.11 okay so this is the discharge and this is the velocity we have calculated so this is the uh, the step by step procedure to calculate the velocity and the discharge okay now in another problem if you see the another problem find the slope of the bed of a rectangular channel of width 5 meter when depth of water is 2 meter uh, the uh, discharge is given 20 meter cube per second take changes constant c is equal to 50 okay so 5 meter is the width 2, 2 meter is the depth so solution for the second problem second problem first write down the given data we have to write down the given data rectangular channel is given and we have to find out the slope of the rectangular channel okay rectangular channel is given okay then uh, the width is given b 5 meter and uh, depth is given 2 meter discharge is given that is 20 meter cube per second okay then uh, changes constant is also given changes constant c is equal to 50 and uh, it is asked to find bed slope okay bed slope of the channel that is i what should be the slope of the channel so we have a cross section a rectangular channel is there okay so this is a rectangular channel the total depth is given 2 meter the width is given okay the width is given b 5 meter and uh, discharge is also given 20 meter cube per second and uh, if you draw the cross section for this particular problem so let us try to understand the l section also so this is a channel section okay in which water is flowing so this is the depth okay and we have to find out the slope that is i okay what should be this slope okay we have to find out this slope now uh, before uh, calculating this slope once again we have to calculate the area of the channel so area of channel okay area of channel so a is equal to b into d so b is 5 meter it is 2 meter so 10 meter square is the area then we have to calculate weighted perimeter again weighted perimeter okay we have to calculate weighted perimeter p is equal to b plus 2d for rectangular so b is 5 into 2 into 2 so 9 meter is the perimeter okay 9 meter then we have to calculate uh, the hydraulic mean depth okay we have to calculate hydraulic mean depth hydraulic mean depth so what is hydraulic mean depth hydraulic mean depth m is uh, area to the perimeter so area is 10 divided by perimeter is 9 so 10 by 9 how much is the perimeter 1.11 1.11 meter okay so once we have the hydraulic mean depth area and perimeter then we can compute the velocity and uh, we can compute the 
the uh, bed slope of the channel. So, according to according to Chagy's formula, okay. According to Chagy's formula, according to Chagy's formula. So, discharge is equal to area into velocity. So, area into velocity by Chagy's formula C under root Mi. So, here we have the discharge also 20 meter cube per second is given, area is 10, okay. The change is constant is 50 and 1.11 is the hydraulic mean depth we have calculated earlier and we have to calculate now, now from this expression the hydraulic mean depth, uh, sorry bed slope, okay. So, what should be the bed slope from the above expression? Can anybody tell me what should be the bed slope from the above expression? The 26.33. Yes. 26.33. I is 26.33, 26.33, it is correct? 1 is to 625. 1 is to 625, okay. So, I is 1 is to 625, correct. So, this is the bed slope, ok. So, I is equal to 1 is to 6 to 5. So, for 1 meter, uh, for 625, we have to give 1 meter slope, ok. For example, what is the meaning of this 1 is to 65 means this is a uh, horizontal ground level and we have to provide the bed slope, ok. So, for 625 meter length we have to give 1 meter slope means the height at the end of 625 uh, is 1 meter. So, this is the meaning of uh, this particular slope, ok. For 625 meter length of the channel we have to give 1 meter uh, uh, the height ok at the end of 625. So, so as to the water will flow easily in this particular channel. So, this is the uh, problem on the rectangular channel ok. Then uh, we have a trapezoidal channel, okay. So, before uh, solving this problem, uh, we have to solve one derivation with respect to the tra uh, trapezoidal channel. So, what is a trapezoidal channel? See here, okay. We have a trapezoidal channel, see. So, this is a ground level, okay, again. Then uh, we have a slope. Now this is known as the uh, the slope for the trapezoidal. It is having two side, okay. Then this is a free board again. This area is not under water. Below this there is a depth of flow or depth of water, okay. And then this is the width, bed, uh, bed width, okay. And then we have a side slope again and then we have the ground level. So, this is known as the trapezoidal channel section. Now, from the this particular section up to this, this is the for example, depth of water, okay. Then we have the bed width, this is the bed width, ok. So, this is B, ok. 
bed width of the channel then we have the side slope 1 is to n okay this is the side slope of the channel side slope of the channel okay and uh, we have the top width also so this is top width a okay so this is the top width b is the bottom width of the channel a is the top width and we have the side slope 1 is to n okay one vertical to n horizontal and uh, this is the lining okay this is the stone pitching or brick bat lining okay to avoid the percolation of water in the soil so this is known as the lining lining of the canal okay so again uh, through this particular channel section we have to uh, flow the discharge that is the rate of flow and with the help of one derivation we have to find out the top width a bottom width b what should be the slope of the channel and what should be the i that is the uh, channel slope okay so uh, this is about the uh, trapezoidal channel sections okay so let us start the derivations for the most economical trapezoidal channel section okay so i am going to start the derivation as well derive an expression for most economical uh, trapezoidal se channel section so derivation for most economical trapezoidal channel section okay trapezoidal channel section so our channel section is trapezoidal okay so for the derivation purpose first we need to sketch the uh, diagram as well so we have a trapezoidal channel section which i have earlier shown in the slide also so this is the the case of the trapezoidal channel section so we have the depth of flow so this is the depth of flow okay now we have the top width and bottom width now b is the bottom width and we have the a that is top width of the channel okay a is the top width b is the bottom width then we have depth of flow d in meter okay so d is the depth of the trapezoidal channel section now we have to give the notation as well a b this point is a this point is b then we have this point c then this point is d okay then uh, the slope is 1 is to n okay on both sides we have the slope one vertical to n horizontal then if you see the shape of the trapezoidal section it has one rectangular portion and two triangular portion okay so if i plot the section so this distance is now nd okay and again on right side also we have this distance that is this distance nd okay this distance is 
एंड डी सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया सो एरिया ऑफ द ट्रैपेजल सेक्शन एरिया ऑफ द ट्रैपेजल सेक्शन एरिया एरिया ऑफ ट्रैपेजल चैनल सो ए इज इक्वल टू हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट वी हैव द वन रेक्टेंगुलर पोर्शन एंड टू ट्रैंगुलर पोर्शन ओके सो बी सी प्लस ए डी सो दिस इज बी सी प्लस दिस ए डी ओके डिवाइडेड बाय टू इन टू डेप्थ सो बी सी प्लस दिस ए डी डिवाइडेड बाय टू इन टू दिस डेप्थ सो वॉट इज बी सी बी सी इज दिस डेप्थ ऑफ फ्लो दैट इज सॉरी दिस डी डी इज द what is bc bc is d so first we need to understand this is not a this is a okay a b this is b point okay this is b point this is c point and this is d point so this is d point remember so bc is small b Area is equal to BC is small b plus AD. So what is AD? AD is the top Only. width of the channel. Top width. A AD is the top width. So how will you calculate? B plus two and D. So if you want to calculate this top width from this up to this, so how much? B plus two times C and D. so the top width of the channel is b plus 2 nd so b plus 2 nd is ad divided by 2 into d okay so further if you simplify this so this is 2b okay plus 2 nd divided by 2 into d now if you further simplify this this is b plus okay and d okay into t then uh, from this expression if i take a by d okay here the remaining is b plus 2 and d uh, and d okay this is not a 2 okay this is nd so b plus nd so b is equal to now a by d minus nd so here we have the plus nd so on if you take this on left hand side it will be minus nd so this is equation 1 so b is equal to that is the bottom width is equal to a by d minus nd now we have to calculate now we have to calculate weighted perimeter we have to calculate weighted perimeter okay weighted perimeter p so p is equal to so how will you calculate weighted perimeter in this case weighted perimeter means the area under water so ab plus bc plus cd okay ab plus bc plus cd so this is the weighted perimeter so write down ab plus bc plus cd okay now bc plus 2 times cd so why this two times cd because or since cd is equal to ab 
okay see here cd is equal to ab that's why we have written here this ab and cd two times cd okay now if i substitute the value of bc bc is the uh, bottom width of the channel b plus what is this cd cd is two times under root ce square plus de square so what is this see here we have this point e okay so if i need to calculate the weighted perimeter then what is the cd the value of cd is uh, ce square plus de square okay if i need to calculate uh, this value cd value for this triangular portion from this triangular portion uh, ced then cd is equal to ce square plus de square so earlier i have uh, substitute c square plus d square b plus then if i further simplify this perimeter perimeter p is equal to b plus 2 under root under root n square d square plus d means d square so perimeter p is equal to b plus 2d under root n square plus 1 if i simplify this i will get the above expression okay then from equation 1 from equation 1 we have the equation 1 what is the equation 1 so see here b is equal to a by d minus nd so this is the equation 1 so from the equation 1 if i substitute the value of this p so i will get p uh, is equal to a by d the value of uh, b is a by d minus nd plus 2d under root n square plus 1 so simply what i did here I have submitted the value of B in this equation. So I will get A by D minus N D. A by D minus N D means the uh, value of this B plus 2D under root N square plus 1. So this is the value of weighted perimeter. For most economical, for most economical, trapezoidal channel section trapezoidal channel weighted perimeter should be minimum so we have to differentiate it with respect to the depth of flow so del p by del d is equal to 0 so we have to do the differentiating this perimeter with respect to the depth of flow so del p by del d is equal to 0 so substitute the value of this del that is del d okay what is the value of this perimeter a by d minus n d plus 2d under root n square plus 1 okay which is equal to 0 then we have to differentiate uh, this equation with respect to the depth of flow so i will get a by d a by minus a by d square if i differentiate this d with respect to the depth of flow minus n plus 2 the derivative with respect to this d is 1 okay here 1 so minus 
n plus 2 under root n square plus 1 which is equal to 0. Now if I further simplify this expression I will get a by d square plus n what we have to do we have to keep this on the right hand side. So I will get a by d square plus n which is equal to 2 under root n square plus 1. Then we have to put the value one minute. Huh? Hello. Paran, Ragde Mera lecture chalo. I am in lecture. One minute. Huh? So, uh, a by d plus n is equal to 2 under root n square plus 1, okay. So, my yc is audible? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, substitute the value of this a, okay. So, what is the area or if I simplify this, okay, here 1. So, A or simplify this with respect to the area. So, substitute the value of area first. So, B plus ND, okay, divided by D square into D plus N which is equal to twice under root N square plus 1. So, if I further simplify this, I will get B plus ND divided by D plus N which is equal to 2 times under root N square plus 1. Then cross multiplication B plus ND plus ND divided by D which is equal to 2 times under root n square plus 1, okay. Then if I further simplify this, so you have to again multiply on both sides by d, b plus nd plus nd divided by d which is equal to b plus 2nd divided by d, okay. 
b plus 2nd divided by t which is equal to 2 times under root n square plus 1. Then if I further simplify it b plus 2nd nd plus nd is 2nd divided by d which is equal to 2 times under root n square plus 1. So, b plus 2 nd you have to take this 2 on left side divided by 2 and you have to take this d on right side d under root n square plus 1. So, this is the first condition I will get after the simplification. So, what is the first condition? This is the first condition that is half of the top uh, width is equal to one of the sloping side. So, what is the meaning of this b plus 2 n d by 2 that is half of the top width is equal to is equal to 1 of the sloping side sloping side. So, this is the meaning of the first condition I have got after simplification b plus 2 n d by 2. So, b plus 2 n d means the top width divided by 2 means half of the top width which is equal to one of the sloping side. So, d under root n square plus 1 is the one of the sloping side. So, half of the top width is equal to one of the sloping side. Then for the second condition of most economical trapezoidal channel section, we have to calculate the hydraulic mean depth. So, next one is hydraulic mean depth. So, hydraulic mean depth that is m or r. So, what is this m or r? A by p, it is the ratio of area to the perimeter. So, simply we have to substitute the value of area. So, what is the area b plus n d into d, ok? And uh, what is the value of this perimeter? Perimeter is b plus in bracket b plus 2 n d we have calculated earlier. So, 2 b plus 2 n d is equal to 2 times b plus n d ok. So, b plus n d into d divided by b plus p plus 2 n d that is 2 times b plus n d ok. So, this will get cancelled b plus n d b plus n d then I will get d by 2 ok. So, m is equal to d by 2. So, this is the second condition. So, what is the meaning of this? That is hydraulic mean depth hydraulic mean depth is equal to is equal to half of the depth of flow, half of the depth of flow, half of the depth of flow. So, two condition I got for most economical rectangular se channel section for most economical for most economical uh, trapezoidal channel section, trapezoidal channel section, channel section. First one is b plus 2 n d divided by d which is equal to d under root n square plus 1. So, this is the first condition that is half of the top width is equal to one of the sloping side and Second condition hydraulic mean depth that is m is equal to d by 2. So, this is the 
second condition. So, in case of the most economical trapezoidal channel section, half of the top width is equal to one of the sloping side and the hydraulic mean depth is equal to d by 2. Okay? So, this is a uh, very simple uh, derivation we got for the trapezoidal channel sections. Okay? Now, we are going to solve one problem on the trapezoidal channel section. So, I have a problem okay, and I am going to share this problem with all of you. So, the first problem on the trapezoidal channel section. So, I request all of you please write this problem in your notebook. A trapezoidal channel section, a trapezoidal channel section has side slope of has side slope of one horizontal one horizontal to two vertical one horizontal to two vertical and the slope bed slope of the channel and bed slope of the channel bed slope of the channel is 1 in 1500 1 in 1500 okay the area of the section is the area of the channel is the area of the channel is 40 meter square the area is given itself in the problem and it is asked to find the dimension of the channel and we have to find dimensions of channel section channel section if it is most economical, if it is most economical, if it is most economical, also determine the discharge of the most economical channel section. Also determine, also determine the discharge of the discharge of the most economical economical channel take c is equal to 50 that is change is constant so this is the uh, problem okay once again i will read it I will repeat it. A trapezoidal channel section has a side slope has a side slope of one horizontal to two vertical, and the bed slope of the channel is one in fifteen thousand. The area of the channel section is forty for zero meter square. Find the dimension of the channel section if it is most economical, and also determine the discharge Q of the most economical channel section and we have to take changes constant c is equal to 50 okay so this is the given so we have to write down the solution first we need to write down the given data okay so whatever may be the data is given first we need to write down it what is given the trapezoidal channel section is given trapezoidal channel First, write down the shape of the channel, trapezoidal channel. Then the bed slope of the channel is given, bed slope 1 in 1500. Then area of the channel section is given 40 meter square and a change is constant is given 50. And also we have to uh, sketch 
the diagram as well. So, this is the case of the trapezoidal channel, this is the shape of the trapezoidal channel. So, this is now D, this is B width of the channel, bottom width, this is top width A, okay, and uh, um, one horizontal to two vertical, the side slope is given, okay, and we have to find out to find to find the first one is B and D. We have to find B and D. What should be the uh, width that is the most economical dimension? And uh, second one, we have to find out the discharge. What should be the discharge? Okay. What should be the discharge? So uh, this is the given itself in the problem, and we have to find out the width and depth. That is, we have to design it, and we have to calculate the uh, the discharge also. So, we know that uh, for most economical, most economical channel, for most economical channel section, for most economical channel section, B plus 2 N D divided by 2, that is half of, uh, half of the top width is equal to one of the sloping side under root n square plus 1. So, first we need to understand this first case b plus 2 n d by 2 which is equal to d under root n square plus 1. So, b plus 2 into what is the value of this n? n means this uh, 1 is to 2. Okay? So, this is 2 half d divided by 2 which is equal to d under root half square plus 1. So, the value of the side slope is 1 is to 2. So, half square plus 1. Okay? Then, uh, if I simplify this, I will get b plus d divided by 2 which is equal to d under root 1 by 4 plus 1. Okay? So, 2 square is 4 plus 1. Now, if I further simplify b plus d divided by 2 is equal to d under root 1 by 4 plus 1. So, I will get I will get b which is equal to 2 into 1.118 d minus d. So, b is equal to if I simplify this b is equal to 1.236 d. Okay? So, the value of b is equal to 1.236 of d. But for uh, area, but for area of the trapezoidal channel section, area of trapezoidal channel. So, area is equal to A is equal to B plus B plus B plus 2 N D divided by 2 into D. Okay? So, further if I simplify this, I will get D plus N D into D so, what is the value of this B here? 1.236 into D plus the value of N is half into D, okay, into D. So, A is equal to now, if I further simplify this, I will get 1.736 D square. So, I have the value of, the value of area is given itself in the problem 40, which is equal to 1.736 d square. Okay? Now, we need to find out uh, the value of d here. Okay? So, d is equal to, if I remove the square of this, 
so for under root 40 divided by 1.736 so how much is the value of d how much it is under root 4.80 4.80 okay meter so this is the the depth of flow in the trapezoidal channel sections but we know that we know that b is equal to earlier we have written the equation b is equal to 1.236 d so 1.236 d d is now 4.80 so b is equal to how much b is equal to how much is the value of b 1.236 into 5.933 meter okay so the value of b is 1 uh, 5.933 meter so but hydraulic mean depth hydraulic mean depth hydraulic mean depth capital m is equal to it is the ratio of area to the weighted perimeter so once we have the area and the perimeter then we can compute the value of hydraulic mean depth or directly hydraulic mean depth is half of the depth of flow okay for most economical trapezoidal channel section so directly you have to write d by 2 okay so we have the value of d is 4.80 divided by 2 so it is 2.40 meter okay so 2.40 meter is the hydraulic mean depth once we have the hydraulic mean depth then we have the formula for discharge okay according to the changes formula so according to changes formula q is equal to area into velocity so we have the area 40 into c under root mi okay then 40 into the value of c is 50 under root mi we have calculated earlier the value of m 2.40 and the bed slope of the channel is given in the problem 1 is to 1500 so discharge q is equal to how much if you simplify this you will be get the discharge can anybody tell me what is the value of this 14 to 50 80 sir 80 80 okay. 80 okay 80 80 meter cube per second so this is the discharge okay so today we will stop here so anybody is having any question you can write now you can ask right now Sir. Yes. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 You can calculate with the help of Yes. formula. Uh, velocity sir, uh, is equal to C under root MI. So where I is yes. the bed slope of the channel. Sir, upon mang discharge gorum ka kala sir. Karan ki changes formula upar hai na tar alag hi the answer ani discharge ka formula upar hai na tar alag answer hai the. No, no. If directly, if you want to calculate the, see here we have uh, the changes formula. Okay, a into v, c under root m i. So if you need to calculate the bed slope of the channel, so you can calculate by velocity only. C under root MI. Okay. So the value, yes. if the value of C is given, suppose 50 and uh, M is half of the depth of flow. If you have the value of the depth, so D by 2 simply. And uh, you can calculate the I from this. If you, you have the value of velocity. If you don't have the value of velocity in the problem, so go for another formula q is equal to area into velocity so 
if i have the discharge in this case for example the discharge is 20 area is for example we have calculated uh, one uh, for example 15 so c under root mi and uh, if we have the value of c also 50 and uh, the value of m is 1.5 so with the help of this formula you can calculate the bed slope okay yes sir yes okay thank you sir So, okay, I declare that today's lecture is over.